Welcome back to our channel. We hope you'll find valuable content here. If you enjoy our channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Let's dive in. Episode 1, Introduction to Operations Management. Welcome to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we'll embark on a journey to uncover the fundamental concepts of operations management and understand its crucial role in driving business efficiency. Imagine a bustling restaurant, a well-oiled factory, or even an online retailer swiftly delivering orders to your doorstep. All these scenarios are examples of operations at work. Operations management is the art and science of orchestrating these processes to ensure products and services are created, delivered, and improved efficiently. Just like the conductor of an orchestra, operations managers harmonize various components to create a symphony of success. Why Operations Management Matters At its core, operations management is about optimizing resources, time, money, manpower, and materials to achieve business goals. It's the backbone of any organization, impacting everything from cost control to customer satisfaction. Consider a pizza delivery business. Operations management decides how many pizzas to prepare, when to cook them, and how to efficiently deliver them while they're still piping hot. Get it wrong, and you end up with cold, unhappy customers and wasted ingredients. Key Concepts, Efficiency and Effectiveness Two essential concepts in operations management are efficiency and effectiveness. Efficiency means doing things right, minimizing waste, and utilizing resources optimally. For instance, a car assembly line where every second counts, or a hospital streamlining patient intake to minimize waiting times. Effectiveness, on the other hand, is doing the right things to achieve goals. For instance, a shoe company producing stylish and comfortable shoes that customers love. Both efficiency and effectiveness are like the gears that keep operations running smoothly. Real-world example, Apple's supply chain. Let's peek into the operations of a tech giant, Apple. Have you ever wondered how they manage to launch new products with such precision? Their operation strategy involves tight coordination with suppliers worldwide. By forecasting demand accurately, they avoid overstocking, inefficiency, or understocking, ineffectiveness, products. This approach ensures a seamless flow from raw materials to finished gadgets on store shelves. Your takeaway, striking the balance. Aspiring operations managers, your journey begins by mastering the art of balance. You'll learn to optimize processes without compromising quality, forecast demand to meet customer expectations, and create strategies that align with the company's larger goals. Operations management isn't just about numbers, it's about making smart decisions that keep the business humming and customers smiling. In our next episode, we'll dive into the world of process analysis and improvement, where we'll dissect processes like a detective, seeking clues to enhance efficiency. So, whether you're intrigued by the mechanics behind your morning coffee or the logistics that power global e-commerce, operations management is your backstage pass to understanding the intricate dance of business operations. Episode 2, Process Analysis and Improvement Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're putting on our detective hats and delving into the fascinating world of process analysis and improvement. Get ready to uncover hidden inefficiencies, streamline operations, and boost overall business performance. The Detective Work of Process Analysis Imagine you're the owner of a bakery. Your customers love your pastries, but lately, there have been complaints about long wait times. This is where process analysis comes in. Just like a detective, you'll break down the bakery's operations into smaller steps from taking orders to serving treats. By doing so, you can identify bottlenecks, redundant tasks, and opportunities for improvement. Mapping the process Let's map out the bakery's process. First, customers place orders at the counter. Then, the orders are relayed to the kitchen, where bakers prepare the pastries. 
Finally, the treats are packed and handed over to customers. By analyzing this sequence, you might realize that the kitchen layout is causing delays, or that certain recipes are more time-consuming than others. Uncover, analyze, improve. Once you've mapped the process, it's time to analyze. Look for areas where time, effort, or resources are being wasted. In our bakery example, it could be the back and forth between the counter and the kitchen that's slowing things down. After pinpointing issues, you can start making improvements. Perhaps reorganizing the kitchen layout or training staff to be more efficient could lead to quicker service. Benefits of process improvement Efficiency isn't the only benefit of process improvement. As you streamline operations, you also enhance quality. Remember the bakery? Faster service could mean fresher pastries and happier customers. Additionally, improved processes often lead to cost savings, as wastage is minimized. This can translate into higher profits and a more competitive edge. Real-world example, Amazon's fulfillment centers. Imagine the complexity of Amazon's operations, with millions of products being ordered and shipped daily. They've mastered process analysis and improvement. By optimizing their fulfillment centers, they ensure that products are picked, packed, and shipped with incredible speed and accuracy. This level of efficiency wouldn't be possible without constant process refinement. Your takeaway, embrace the detective mindset. Operations managers, as you venture into the realm of process analysis and improvement, remember that you're the detective of efficiency. Just as Sherlock Holmes pieces together clues to solve a mystery, you'll piece together data to uncover operational inefficiencies. So, whether it's baking pastries or assembling gadgets, your analytical skills will be the key to unlocking smoother, faster, and more successful operations. In our next episode, we'll dive into the strategic world of operations, exploring how a well-crafted operations strategy can provide a competitive edge. So, stay tuned, and get ready to strategize your way to success. Episode 3, Operations Strategy and Competitive Advantage Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the strategic side of operations management. Get ready to learn how crafting the right operations strategy can give your business a competitive edge in the dynamic world of commerce. Understanding Operations Strategy Think of Operations Strategy as the blueprint for how your business will achieve its goals through efficient and effective processes. Just like a general planning a battle, operations managers strategically deploy resources, technology, and processes to gain an advantage in the market. The Link Between Operations Strategy and Competitive Advantage Imagine you're managing a smartphone manufacturing company. Your operation strategy could involve creating a lean production process, which minimizes waste and optimizes resources. This approach allows you to produce high-quality phones at lower costs compared to your competitors. As a result, you can offer your products at a more attractive price point, giving you a competitive advantage in the market. Key Components of Operation Strategy Trade-offs Operation strategy often involves making trade-offs. For instance, you might decide to prioritize cost efficiency over customization or quick delivery over large product variety. Alignment with business strategy, your operation strategy should align with your overall business goals. If your business aims to provide premium products, your operation strategy should focus on maintaining quality standards throughout the production process. Technology integration, in today's digital age, technology plays a significant role in operation strategy. From automated assembly lines to data analytics for demand forecasting, technology can greatly impact your efficiency and competitiveness. Real-world example, Zara's fast fashion. Zara, the Spanish clothing retailer, has mastered the art of operation strategy. Their strategy is built around speed and responsiveness. They design, produce, and deliver new clothing styles to stores in a matter of weeks, rather than months. 
This allows them to quickly adapt to changing fashion trends and gives them a distinct competitive advantage in the fast-paced fashion industry. Crafting your operations strategy To create an effective operations strategy, consider these steps. Assess your business, understand your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Identify areas where operational improvements can lead to a competitive edge. Set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve through your operations strategy. It could be cost reduction, quality improvement, faster delivery, or a combination of factors. Align with market demand. Your strategy should be responsive to customer needs and market trends. What do your customers value most? Make sure your strategy delivers on those aspects. Your takeaway, strategize for success. Aspiring operations managers, remember that operations strategy isn't just about making operations run smoothly, it's about making operations work in your favor. By crafting a well-aligned strategy, you can enhance your business's competitiveness and propel it to the forefront of the market. So, whether you're orchestrating a manufacturing process or managing a service delivery, your strategic thinking will be the guiding star towards achieving a lasting competitive advantage. In our next episode, we'll explore the intricate world of capacity planning and resource allocation, where you'll learn how to meet demand effectively without straining your resources. Stay tuned for more insights into the art of operations management. Episode 4 Capacity Planning and Resource Allocation Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the essential concepts of capacity planning and resource allocation. Get ready to learn how to manage your resources effectively to meet customer demand while maintaining operational efficiency. Understanding Capacity Planning Capacity planning involves determining the maximum output a system, process, or facility can achieve in a given period. Think of it as finding the sweet spot between having too much capacity, which leads to wastage, and too little capacity, which leads to missed opportunities. Resource Allocation, Balancing Act Resource allocation is about distributing your resources, labor, equipment, materials, in the most optimal way. Imagine you run a call center. If you overallocate employees to the night shift, you might end up with idle agents during daytime. If you underallocate, customers may experience longer wait times. It's a delicate balancing act. Strategies for capacity planning and resource allocation. Leading strategy involves adding capacity before demand increases. It's a proactive approach that ensures you're ready to meet future demand. For example, an airline might add more flights to a popular route during peak travel season. Lagging strategy involves adding capacity after demand increases. While this strategy might lead to higher utilization of existing resources, it can also result in customer dissatisfaction due to longer wait times or delayed deliveries. Matching strategy aims to align capacity with demand. It involves adjusting resources based on fluctuating demand patterns. For example, a restaurant might hire extra staff during weekends when they expect higher foot traffic. Real-world example, Walt Disney World. Disney's theme parks are a prime example of effective capacity planning and resource allocation. They carefully manage the number of visitors allowed in the park each day to ensure a pleasant experience for guests. They also adjust the number of staff, ride operators, and food vendors based on expected crowd sizes. Resource Allocation Challenges The Knapsack Problem Imagine you have limited resources and multiple projects to allocate them to. This scenario is akin to the knapsack problem, a classic optimization challenge. It involves choosing a combination of items that maximize value within a limited capacity. Operations managers often face similar decisions when allocating resources among various projects or tasks. Your takeaway, the puzzle of efficiency. Operations managers, the puzzle of capacity planning and resource allocation is central to your role. You'll need to weigh factors like demand fluctuations, cost constraints, and customer expectations. 
Finding the right balance can lead to smoother operations, minimized waste, and improved customer satisfaction. So, whether you're managing a factory, a hospital, or an online platform, mastering the art of capacity planning and resource allocation is the key to unlocking operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the intriguing world of inventory management and the philosophy of just-in-time, JIT. Get ready to learn how to optimize your inventory levels and reduce waste through smart strategies. Stay tuned for more insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 5, Inventory Management and Just-in-Time Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the world of inventory management and exploring the powerful philosophy of just-in-time. Get ready to uncover strategies that can reduce waste, improve efficiency, and enhance your bottom line. The Role of Inventory, Balancing Act Imagine you're running a retail store. You want to ensure you have enough products in stock to meet customer demand, but you also don't want excess inventory tying up your resources. This is the balancing act of inventory management. The cost of inventory, carrying costs and holding costs. Inventory comes with costs. Carrying costs include expenses like storage, insurance, and the risk of products becoming obsolete. Holding costs refer to the opportunity cost of tying up money that could be invested elsewhere. Striking the right balance is essential to optimize costs. The Just-In-Time Philosophy, Streamlining Operations At its core, Just-In-Time is about producing and delivering products at the exact moment they're needed, neither too early nor too late. Think of it as a pull approach, products are pulled into production as demand arises. This minimizes the need for excess inventory and reduces waste. Benefits of Just-In-Time Reduced waste, with just-in-time, you produce only what's needed, reducing overproduction and minimizing waste. Lower inventory costs, by holding less inventory, you save on storage costs and reduce the risk of products becoming obsolete. Enhanced efficiency, just-in-time focuses on smooth production flow, reducing bottlenecks and improving overall efficiency. Challenges of just-in-time Implementing just-in-time isn't without challenges. It requires accurate demand forecasting, reliable suppliers, and streamlined processes. If any part of the supply chain falters, it can disrupt the entire system. Real-world example, Toyota's production system. Toyota is famous for popularizing the just-in-time philosophy in its production system. Instead of massive warehouses filled with excess inventory, they maintain low inventory levels and replenish supplies as needed. This approach enables them to respond quickly to market changes and maintain high levels of efficiency. Applying Just-In-Time Principles, Kanban System A key tool in Just-In-Time is the Kanban system. It uses visual cues, like cards, to signal when to produce more items. Imagine a bakery with a bread card. When the card is taken, bakers know to start baking more bread to replace what's sold. This prevents overproduction and ensures a steady supply. Your takeaway, strive for efficiency. Operations managers, mastering inventory management and embracing the just-in-time philosophy can transform your operations. By minimizing waste, optimizing production, and aligning with customer demand, you can achieve remarkable efficiency gains. So, whether you're overseeing manufacturing or managing a service, remember that a well-managed inventory can be your secret weapon to operational success. In our next episode, we'll dive into the intricate world of supply chain management, where you'll learn how to navigate the complexities of sourcing, production, and distribution. Get ready to uncover strategies that can keep your operations running smoothly across the entire supply chain. Stay tuned for more insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 6, Supply Chain Management Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're immersing ourselves in the complexities of supply chain management. 
Get ready to explore strategies that can optimize your supply chain, enhance collaboration, and drive overall operational excellence. Understanding Supply Chain Management Think of the supply chain as a network of interconnected activities that span from sourcing raw materials to delivering finished products to customers. Supply chain management is about orchestrating these activities to ensure seamless coordination, efficient resource allocation, and timely delivery. Supply chain activities, from start to finish. Let's follow the journey of a smartphone. It starts with sourcing raw materials like metals and plastics. These materials are then transported to manufacturing facilities, where they're transformed into components. The components are assembled into the final product, which is distributed to retailers and eventually reaches the hands of customers. Each step involves different players, transportation, storage, and coordination. Strategies for Effective Supply Chain Management Supplier collaboration, building strong relationships with suppliers is crucial. Collaborative partnerships can lead to better pricing, quality control, and shared risk management. Demand forecasting, accurate demand forecasting helps prevent overstocking or understocking. This requires analyzing historical data, market trends, and even external factors like economic conditions. Inventory optimization, balancing inventory levels is key. Too much can lead to storage costs, while too little can result in missed sales opportunities. Logistics and distribution, efficient transportation and distribution networks ensure products reach customers on time. This involves optimizing routes, modes of transport, and warehouse locations. Real-world example, Amazon's fulfillment centers. Amazon's sophisticated supply chain management system is a prime example. Their fulfillment centers are strategically located to ensure quick delivery to customers. Their inventory management and distribution processes are finely tuned to meet demand while minimizing delays. Challenges of Supply Chain Management Supply chains are susceptible to disruptions, from natural disasters to supply shortages. The challenge is to build resilience and flexibility into the system. This involves having backup suppliers, diversified sourcing, and contingency plans. Technology in Supply Chain Management Technology plays a pivotal role in modern supply chain management. Data analytics, AI, and IoT enable real-time tracking of inventory, demand, and logistics. This data-driven approach enhances decision-making and operational efficiency. Your Takeaway, Orchestrating Success Operations managers, as you navigate the intricate landscape of supply chain management, remember that you're the conductor of a harmonious symphony. Your ability to align suppliers, optimize processes, and ensure timely deliveries is pivotal to operational success. So, whether you're managing the movement of goods or overseeing a service-oriented supply chain, mastering the art of supply chain management can be the key to orchestrating a seamless and efficient operation. In our next episode, we'll dive into the world of demand forecasting and planning, where you'll learn how to anticipate customer needs and create effective production plans. Get ready for insights that can guide your operations toward greater success. Stay tuned for more captivating episodes on the fascinating subject of operations management. Episode 7, Demand Forecasting and Planning Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the world of demand forecasting and planning. Get ready to learn how to predict customer needs, create effective production plans, and keep your operations running smoothly. The Art of Demand Forecasting Demand forecasting is like peering into a crystal ball to predict what customers will want in the future. By analyzing historical data, market trends, and external factors, you can estimate how much of a product or service will be needed. Why Demand Forecasting Matters Imagine you run a fashion boutique. Accurate demand forecasting helps you stock the right amount of each style preventing overstocking, which ties up capital, or understocking, which leads to missed sales. It's about finding that Goldilocks balance, not too much, not too little, but just right. 
Methods of demand forecasting. Qualitative methods, these are subjective approaches that rely on expert opinions, market research, and customer feedback. They're useful for new products or when data is limited. Quantitative methods, these are data-driven approaches that analyze historical sales data. They include techniques like time series analysis, moving averages, and regression analysis. Creating effective production plans. Once you have your demand forecast, it's time to translate it into action. Production planning involves determining what, when, and how much to produce. It's like assembling the pieces of a puzzle to meet customer demands efficiently. Strategies for production planning. Make to stock, MTS producing goods based on a sales forecast. This approach suits products with stable demand patterns, like everyday consumer goods. Make to order, MTO producing goods only when a customer places an order. This approach is common for customized or specialized products. Assemble to order, ATO preparing components in advance, but assembling the final product after receiving an order. This approach balances customization and efficiency. Real-world example, Coca-Cola's demand forecasting. Coca-Cola is a master of demand forecasting. They use a combination of historical data, weather patterns, and economic indicators to predict soda consumption. This enables them to adjust production to match expected demand, ensuring that shelves are always stocked with refreshing beverages. Challenges in demand forecasting, the bullwhip effect. Imagine a small disturbance at the beginning of a whip, it amplifies as it travels down the length. The same principle applies to the supply chain. Small variations in customer demand can lead to exaggerated fluctuations as you move upstream in the supply chain. This is known as the bullwhip effect and can lead to inefficiencies and increased costs. Your takeaway, anticipate and excel. Operations managers, demand forecasting and planning are your tools for anticipation. By accurately predicting customer needs and crafting effective production plans, you can prevent wastage, reduce costs, and keep your operations finely tuned. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing line or a service-based operation, mastering the art of demand forecasting and planning can be your compass to navigating operational success. In our next episode, we'll delve into the realm of quality management and the Six Sigma approach. Get ready to learn how to ensure consistent quality in your operations and drive continuous improvement. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the world of operations management. Episode 8, Quality Management and Six Sigma Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the critical world of quality management and exploring the powerful methodology of Six Sigma. Get ready to learn how to ensure consistent quality, reduce defects, and drive continuous improvement in your operations. The Importance of Quality Management Quality management is the foundation of operational excellence. Whether you're producing goods or delivering services, maintaining consistent quality is essential to satisfy customers and uphold your brand's reputation. What is quality? Defining the standard. Quality isn't just about making things good enough. It's about meeting or exceeding customer expectations. Think of it as meeting a defined standard of excellence. For example, a restaurant's quality might include not just delicious food, but also impeccable service and a comfortable ambience. The Six Sigma Approach, Striving for Perfection Six Sigma is a data-driven methodology aimed at minimizing defects, improving quality, and reducing variability in processes. The Sigma represents the standard deviation of a process, and the goal of Six Sigma is to achieve a process that's as close to perfection as possible, meaning fewer than 3.4 defects per million opportunities. DMAIC, the Six Sigma Methodology Define, clearly define the problem and the project goals. What aspect of quality needs improvement? Measure, collect and analyze data to understand the current state of the process. How many defects are occurring? 
Where are the problem areas? Analyze, dig deep into the data to identify the root causes of defects. What factors are contributing to the quality issues? Improve, develop and implement solutions to address the root causes. How can you eliminate or reduce defects? Control, establish control mechanisms to monitor the process and ensure that the improvements are sustained over time. Benefits of Six Sigma Reduce defects, by identifying and addressing root causes, Six Sigma minimizes defects, leading to higher quality products and services. Enhanced efficiency, Six Sigma streamlines processes, reducing waste and improving overall efficiency. Customer satisfaction, consistent high quality leads to happier customers and stronger brand loyalty. Real-world example, General Electric's Six Sigma success. General Electric, G, is renowned for embracing Six Sigma across its operations. The company credits Six Sigma with billions of dollars in savings, improved customer satisfaction, and enhanced operational efficiency. Challenges in quality management cultural shift and buy-in. Implementing a quality management strategy like Six Sigma requires a cultural shift within an organization. It necessitates buy-in from top leadership down to frontline workers. Everyone needs to recognize the value of quality improvement and be willing to embrace change. Your takeaway, pursuit of excellence. Operations managers, Quality management and the Six Sigma methodology are your tools for driving continuous improvement. By striving for perfection, reducing defects, and optimizing processes, you can create operations that consistently deliver value and exceed customer expectations. So, whether you're overseeing a manufacturing process or managing a service-based operation, remember that the pursuit of excellence is the path to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the world of lean operations and waste reduction, uncovering strategies to streamline your processes and maximize efficiency. Get ready for more insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 9, Lean Operations and Waste Reduction Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the world of lean operations and waste reduction. Get ready to uncover strategies that can streamline your processes, eliminate inefficiencies, and enhance your operational efficiency. Introducing Lean Operations Imagine a cluttered workspace, tools scattered everywhere, unnecessary steps in a process, and wasted time searching for things. Lean Operations aim to eliminate such waste and create a smooth, efficient workflow. The 8 Types of Waste, Downtime Detection Transportation waste, unnecessary movement of materials between locations. Inventory waste, excess inventory tying up resources. Motion waste, unnecessary movement of people or equipment within a workspace. Waiting waste, time wasted due to delays or waiting for materials or information. Overprocessing waste, performing more work than necessary, adding no value. Overproduction waste, Producing more than demanded, leading to excess inventory. Defect waste, defective products that need rework or disposal. Skills waste, underutilizing employee skills and capabilities. The five principles of lean operations. Value, identify what adds value from the customer's perspective. Everything else is waste. Value stream, map the entire value stream of a process to understand the flow of materials and information. Flow, ensure that processes flow smoothly, without interruptions or delays. Pull, produce only what's needed, based on customer demand. Perfection, strive for continuous improvement, eliminating waste at every stage. Real-world example, Toyota's Lean Manufacturing. Toyota's renowned production system is the epitome of lean operations. They've mastered the art of producing just what's needed, when it's needed. This approach minimizes waste and creates an efficient, responsive manufacturing process. Applying Lean Principles, the 5S System The 5S System is a fundamental tool in lean operations. 
Sort, remove unnecessary items from the workspace. Set in order, organize items for easy access and efficient workflow. Shine, keep the workspace clean and well-maintained. Standardize, create standardized procedures for organizing and maintaining the workspace. Sustain, develop practices to ensure that the 5S principles are consistently applied. Challenges in implementing lean operations, change management. Transitioning to a lean operations mindset requires a cultural shift. Employees and management need to embrace change, challenge existing practices, and be open to continuous improvement. Your takeaway, streamline for success. Operations managers, lean operations and waste reduction are your tools for creating a finely tuned operation. By eliminating waste, optimizing processes, and embracing a culture of continuous improvement, you can achieve exceptional efficiency and drive value for your customers. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-based operation, remember that streamlining is the key to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the fundamentals of project management. Get ready to learn how to plan, execute, and deliver successful projects, whether you're launching a new product or implementing a process improvement. Stay tuned for more insights into the captivating world of operations management. Episode 10, Project Management Fundamentals Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the fundamental concepts of project management. Get ready to learn how to plan, execute, and deliver successful projects, whether you're launching a new product, implementing process improvements, or tackling any complex endeavor. What is project management? Imagine you're tasked with organizing a big event. You have a specific goal, limited resources, and a deadline to meet. Project management is the art of orchestrating all these elements to achieve the desired outcome. The Project Management Triangle, Balancing Act Every project involves three key constraints. Scope, the work that needs to be done to deliver the project's goal. Time, the duration within which the project must be completed. Cost, the budget allocated for the project. The Five Project Management Process Groups Initiating, defining the project's purpose, scope, and stakeholders. Planning, creating a roadmap to guide the project, including defining tasks, schedules, resources, and risk management strategies. Executing, carrying out the plans, managing resources, and ensuring tasks are completed as per the schedule. Monitoring and controlling, tracking project progress, identifying deviations from the plan, and taking corrective actions. Closing, finalizing all project activities, delivering the results, and assessing lessons learned. Key skills for project managers. Communication, project managers need to effectively communicate with team members, stakeholders, and other relevant parties. Leadership, leading and motivating a diverse team to work towards a common goal. Problem solving, addressing challenges and finding solutions in real time. Time management, juggling multiple tasks and deadlines efficiently. Risk management, identifying potential risks and developing strategies to mitigate them. Real-world example, building a skyscraper. Imagine managing the construction of a skyscraper. From laying the foundation to adding the finishing touches, each phase is a project within the larger project. Effective project management ensures that tasks are completed in the right sequence, materials are sourced on time, and resources are allocated efficiently. Challenges in project management, scope creep and resource constraints. Scope creep is when the project scope expands beyond the original plan, potentially causing delays and budget overruns. Resource constraints occur when the project lacks necessary resources, leading to bottlenecks and compromised quality. Your takeaway, master the art of coordination. Operations managers, project management is your tool for achieving complex goals. By mastering the art of coordination, you can deliver projects on time, within budget, and with the desired level of quality. 
So, whether you're overseeing a construction project, launching a new product, or implementing operational improvements, remember that effective project management is the compass that guides you to success. In our next episode, we'll delve deeper into project management by exploring project scope and risk management. Get ready to learn how to define project boundaries and manage potential challenges. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the world of operations management. Episode 11, Project Scope and Risk Management Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving deeper into the world of project management by exploring project scope and risk management. Get ready to learn how to define project boundaries, manage potential challenges, and navigate the complexities of successful project delivery. Defining Project Scope Imagine you're tasked with building a website for your company. The project scope defines what's included in the project and, equally importantly, what's not included. It's like setting the boundaries of your project to ensure everyone's on the same page. Scope Creep the enemy of project success. Scope creep happens when the project scope expands beyond the original plan. Adding new features or tasks might seem harmless, but it can lead to delays, budget overruns, and compromised quality. That's why clearly defining the scope is crucial. Creating a scope statement. A scope statement outlines the project's objectives, deliverables, constraints, and assumptions. It's the project's blueprint that guides everyone involved. For the website project, the scope statement might include details about the number of pages, functionalities, and the deadline for completion. Risk Management, Navigating Uncertainty Projects are filled with uncertainties, from unexpected delays to unforeseen challenges. Risk management is about identifying these potential pitfalls and developing strategies to either prevent them or minimize their impact. Steps in Risk Management Risk Identification Identify potential risks that could affect the project's success. Risk Assessment Evaluate the likelihood and potential impact of each identified risk. Risk Response Planning Develop strategies to manage or mitigate the identified risks. Risk Monitoring and Control Continuously monitor the project for new risks and assess the effectiveness of risk responses. Risk Strategies Mitigate, Transfer, Accept, Avoid. Mitigate Take actions to reduce the probability or impact of a risk. Transfer Shift the risk to a third party, like an insurance company. Accept Acknowledge the risk, but don't take any specific action. Avoid, change the project plan to eliminate the risk entirely. Real-world example, SpaceX's rocket development. SpaceX, Elon Musk's space exploration company, is no stranger to project scope and risk management. Developing rockets involves countless variables and potential challenges. By clearly defining project scopes and actively managing risks, SpaceX successfully launches and lands reusable rockets. Challenges in Scope and Risk Management, Balance and Uncertainty Balancing project scope to meet stakeholders' expectations while staying within constraints can be challenging. Additionally, risks are inherently uncertain, you're dealing with the unknown. Preparing for a range of possibilities is a crucial aspect of risk management. Your takeaway, navigate with clarity and confidence. Operations managers, project scope and risk management are your navigational tools in the complexity of project execution. By defining clear project boundaries, managing uncertainties, and planning for potential challenges, you can steer your projects toward success. So, whether you're overseeing a large-scale construction project or a critical operational improvement, remember that effective scope and risk management are your anchors to achieving desired outcomes. In our next episode, we'll explore operations scheduling and sequencing, uncovering strategies to optimize production and resource utilization. Get ready for more insights into the dynamic world of operations management. Episode 12, Operations Scheduling and Sequencing Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. 
In this episode, we're delving into the world of operations scheduling and sequencing. Get ready to learn how to optimize production, allocate resources efficiently, and ensure smooth operations. Understanding Operation Scheduling Imagine you're managing a factory that produces smartphones. Operation scheduling involves determining the sequence and timing of tasks to ensure that resources, from machines to manpower, are utilized effectively and production flows seamlessly. Sequencing, the art of order. Sequencing is deciding the order in which tasks are performed. Just like arranging puzzle pieces to form a complete picture, sequencing tasks optimally can lead to smoother operations and reduced idle time. Types of sequencing. First come first served, FCFS tasks are scheduled in the order they arrive. Shortest processing time, SPT tasks with the shortest processing time are prioritized. Critical ratio, CR, compares the remaining time of a task to its due date. Tasks with a lower critical ratio are scheduled first. Scheduling strategies. Forward scheduling, starting tasks as soon as possible and moving forward in time. This approach suits projects with flexible schedules. Backward scheduling, starting tasks from the project's deadline and working backward. This approach is useful for projects with fixed end dates. Resource Allocation, Balancing Act Resource allocation involves assigning available resources to tasks to ensure that work progresses smoothly. Just like a puzzle with limited pieces, you need to allocate resources wisely to complete the bigger picture. Real-world example, airline flight scheduling. Airline flight scheduling is a complex operation that involves optimizing flight routes, aircraft, crew, and passenger demand. By efficiently sequencing flights and allocating resources, airlines can maximize profitability and ensure timely departures. Challenges in operations scheduling and sequencing, complexity and variability. Operation scheduling can become intricate due to factors like varying task times, machine breakdowns, and fluctuating demand. Balancing these variables while maintaining efficiency is a challenge. Your takeaway, optimize for efficiency. Operations managers, operations scheduling and sequencing are your tools for optimizing efficiency. By strategically arranging tasks, allocating resources, and ensuring smooth production flow, you can enhance your operational performance. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or coordinating service operations, remember that the art of sequencing and scheduling is the key to achieving operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the principles of facility layout and design, uncovering how spatial arrangements impact operational flow. Get ready for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 13, Facility Layout and Design Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the principles of facility layout and design. Get ready to learn how spatial arrangements impact operational flow, efficiency, and overall performance. The importance of facility layout. Imagine you're designing a factory. Facility layout involves determining the optimal arrangement of machines, workstations, storage areas, and other resources to create a smooth, efficient workflow. Types of facility layout. Process layout, machines and workstations are grouped based on the type of task they perform. It's suitable for job shops or projects with varying production needs. Product layout, machines are arranged in a sequence to produce a specific product. This layout is common in assembly lines. Fixed position layout, resources remain stationary, and the product moves through different workstations. This layout is used in construction projects or when the product is too large to move. Factors affecting facility layout, flow and accessibility. Facility layout should consider the logical flow of materials and personnel. Easy accessibility to workstations, minimal movement, and clear paths can lead to enhanced operational efficiency. Layout strategies. Functional layout, similar machines and tasks are grouped together. 
Cellular layout, machines are grouped into cells, each capable of producing a family of products. It reduces material handling and enhances flexibility. Product layout, machines are arranged in a sequence to support a specific production process. Real-world example, Amazon's fulfillment centers. Amazon's fulfillment centers exemplify efficient facility layout. Products are organized in storage areas based on their size, popularity, and demand. Robots and workers collaborate to efficiently retrieve and package items for delivery. Challenges in facility layout and design, flexibility and future needs. Facility layout should strike a balance between current needs and future growth. An overly rigid layout can be problematic if demand patterns change or new products are introduced. Your takeaway, design for efficiency. Operations managers, facility layout and design are your tools for creating efficient operational environments. By optimizing spatial arrangements, minimizing movement, and ensuring easy accessibility, you can streamline operations and maximize efficiency. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing facility or a service-oriented workspace, remember that the layout you design has a direct impact on your operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the fascinating world of operation simulation, uncovering how simulations can provide valuable insights into complex operational scenarios. Get ready for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 14, Operation Simulation Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the intriguing world of operation simulation. Get ready to explore how simulations can provide valuable insights into complex operational scenarios, helping you make informed decisions and optimize your processes. What is Operation Simulation? Imagine you're the manager of a busy airport. Operation simulation involves creating a virtual model of a real-world system, whether it's a manufacturing process, a supply chain, or even a service operation, to understand how it functions and make improvements. Why simulate? Insights and optimization. Simulations offer a safe sandbox to experiment with different scenarios without real-world consequences. By tweaking variables and observing outcomes, you can identify bottlenecks, optimize processes, and predict how changes will impact the system. Creating a Simulation Model, Elements and Interactions A simulation model consists of various elements, like machines, workers, or inventory, and their interactions. For example, in a manufacturing simulation, you'd consider factors like processing times, queue lengths, and machine breakdowns. Types of simulation Monte Carlo simulation involves random sampling to simulate uncertainty, such as demand fluctuations or delivery delays. Discrete event simulation focuses on modeling individual events as they occur in a sequence, like the movement of products through a supply chain. System dynamic simulation examines the dynamic behavior of complex systems over time, considering feedback loops and delays. Benefits of Operation Simulation, Data-Driven Decisions and Risk Reduction Data-Driven Decision-Making, simulations provide insights based on data, helping you make informed choices to improve efficiency. Risk Reduction, simulations allow you to assess potential risks and develop contingency plans before implementing changes in the real world. Real-World Example, Hospital Operation Simulation in a hospital setting, operation simulation can help optimize patient flow, resource allocation, and staffing levels. By modeling patient arrivals, treatment times, and staff availability, hospitals can identify optimal schedules and minimize patient waiting times. Challenges in operation simulation, model accuracy, and complexity. Creating an accurate simulation model requires understanding the real-world system in depth. Complex interactions and variables can sometimes make the simulation overly intricate. Your takeaway, virtually optimize reality. Operations managers, operation simulation is your tool for virtually optimizing your operational reality. 
by creating virtual models, experimenting with scenarios, and analyzing outcomes, you can fine-tune your processes and make strategic decisions that drive operational excellence. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that simulations are your window to an optimized operational future. In our next episode, we'll explore sustainability in operations, uncovering strategies to integrate environmentally friendly practices into your operations management. Get ready for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 15, Sustainability in Operations Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the realm of sustainability in operations. Get ready to explore strategies to integrate environmentally friendly practices into your operations management, ensuring a more sustainable and responsible approach to business. The Importance of Sustainability Imagine you're managing a manufacturing facility. Sustainability in operations means considering the environmental, social, and economic impact of your decisions. It's about adopting practices that meet present needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet theirs. Sustainable Operation Strategies Green Supply Chain selects suppliers who follow sustainable practices, such as reducing waste and emissions. Energy efficiency, implement energy-efficient technologies and practices to reduce energy consumption. Waste reduction, minimize waste by recycling, reusing, and reducing packaging and materials. Lean operations, lean principles, which aim to reduce waste, align naturally with sustainability goals. Life cycle assessment, analyze the environmental impact of a product or service from its creation to its disposal. Benefits of Sustainability, Competitive Advantage and Ethical Responsibility Competitive Advantage, Sustainable Practices can enhance brand reputation, attract environmentally conscious customers, and lead to cost savings. Ethical Responsibility, Embracing Sustainability reflects a commitment to responsible business practices and a healthier planet. Real-world Example, Patagonia's Sustainable Practices Outdoor clothing brand Patagonia is a pioneer in sustainable operations. They promote repair and reuse of their products, use recycled materials, and donate a portion of their profits to environmental causes. Challenges in Sustainability, Balancing Priorities and Costs Balancing sustainability goals with financial viability can be challenging. While many sustainable practices save money in the long run, initial investments might seem costly. Your takeaway, strive for a greener future. Operations managers, sustainability in operations is your tool for creating a greener, more responsible future. By integrating environmentally friendly practices, reducing waste, and embracing ethical business strategies, you can make a positive impact on both your operations and the planet. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that sustainable practices are the path to a brighter operational landscape. In our next episode, we'll explore the unique challenges and strategies for managing service-oriented operations. Get ready to dive into the world of service operations management and uncover ways to deliver exceptional service to your customers. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 16, Service Operations Management Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're exploring the unique challenges and strategies for managing service-oriented operations. Get ready to dive into the world of service operations management and uncover ways to deliver exceptional service to your customers. Understanding Service Operations Imagine you're managing a busy restaurant. Service operations management involves designing, delivering, and optimizing services to meet customer needs while ensuring operational efficiency. Challenges in Service Operations, Intangibility and Variability Services are intangible, you can't touch or feel them like physical products. Additionally, service quality can vary based on factors like employee interactions and customer expectations. 
Strategies for Effective Service Operations Service Blueprinting Create a visual representation of the service process, including customer interactions and backstage operations. This helps identify potential bottlenecks and areas for improvement. Service Quality Measurement Develop metrics to measure service quality, such as response times, customer satisfaction scores, and service completion rates. Employee Training and Empowerment Well-trained and empowered employees are key to delivering excellent service. Invest in their training and provide them with the autonomy to make customer-centric decisions. Customer Relationship Management CRM utilize technology to manage customer interactions, gather feedback, and personalize service experiences. Real-world example, Disney Service Magic Disney is renowned for its exceptional service operations. From the moment guests enter the park to their interactions with characters, every detail is carefully orchestrated to create a memorable experience. Challenges in Service Operations Balancing Demand and Capacity Service businesses often face fluctuations in demand, such as rush hours in restaurants or peak booking periods in hotels. Balancing customer demand with available capacity is a constant challenge. Your Takeaway Craft Exceptional Experiences Operations Managers Service Operations Management is your tool for crafting exceptional customer experiences. By designing efficient service processes, empowering employees, and focusing on quality, you can exceed customer expectations and build lasting relationships. So, whether you're overseeing a restaurant, a hotel, or any service-oriented business, remember that delivering top-notch service is the heart of operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore how to measure and track operational performance using key metrics. Get ready to dive into the world of operations metrics and performance measurement. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 17, Operations Metrics and Performance Measurement Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the world of operations metrics and performance measurement. Get ready to learn how to measure and track operational performance using key metrics, enabling you to make informed decisions and drive continuous improvement. The Role of Metrics in Operations Management Imagine you're the manager of a call center. Metrics are like the dashboard of your operational vehicle, they provide real-time information about how well your operations are performing and help you steer in the right direction. Key Performance Indicators KPIs Your Operational Compass KPIs are specific metrics that provide insights into various aspects of your operations. They help you evaluate performance, identify trends, and make data-driven decisions. Types of Operations Metrics Efficiency Metrics Measure how well resources are utilized to produce output. Examples include utilization rates, productivity ratios, and throughput. Quality Metrics Focus on the quality of products or services delivered. Examples include defect rates, customer satisfaction scores, and error rates. Cost metrics Evaluate the financial aspects of operations. Examples include cost per unit, cost of goods sold, and operational expenses. Lead time metrics Measure the time it takes to complete a process or deliver a product. Examples include cycle time, order fulfillment time, and delivery lead time. Balanced Scorecard, a holistic view. The balanced scorecard approach considers multiple dimensions of performance. It includes financial, customer, internal process, and learning and growth perspectives. This approach ensures that improvements in one area don't negatively impact others. Real-world example, Amazon's fulfillment metrics. Amazon's operations heavily rely on metrics to ensure timely deliveries and optimal customer experiences. They track metrics such as order processing times, delivery accuracy, and inventory turnover. Challenges in metrics and performance measurement, data quality and overload. Collecting accurate and relevant data can be challenging. 
Additionally, having too many metrics can lead to information overload, making it difficult to focus on what truly matters. Your takeaway, navigate with data insights. Operations managers, operations metrics and performance measurement are your tools for navigating your operational landscape with data-driven insights. By tracking key metrics, evaluating performance, and identifying areas for improvement, you can steer your operations towards continuous growth. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that metrics are your compass to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the challenges and opportunities of managing operations in a global context. Get ready to dive into the world of operations in global markets. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 18, Operations in Global Markets Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're exploring the challenges and opportunities of managing operations in a global context. Get ready to dive into the world of international operations management and uncover strategies for success in global markets. Global Operations Management, a Complex Landscape Imagine you're overseeing a multinational corporation. Global operations management involves coordinating and optimizing operations across different countries, cultures, and regulatory environments. Challenges in global operations, cultural diversity and supply chain complexity. Operating in multiple countries means navigating cultural differences, legal frameworks, and supply chain intricacies. Variations in work practices, languages, and consumer preferences can impact operational efficiency. Strategies for success in global operations Localization, adapt your products and services to cater to the preferences and needs of local markets. Global sourcing, source materials, components, and labor from various countries to optimize costs and quality. Risk management, understand and mitigate risks associated with political instability, currency fluctuations, and legal changes. Collaborative partnerships, establish strong partnerships with local suppliers, distributors, and stakeholders. Real-world example, McDonald's Global Strategy. McDonald's is a prime example of successful global operations management. While maintaining core menu items, they adapt offerings to local tastes, integrate with local supply chains, and embrace cultural diversity. Challenges in global operations, harmonization and communication. Balancing standardized processes with localized adaptations can be a challenge. Additionally, effective communication across time zones and languages is crucial. Your takeaway, think globally, act locally. Operations Managers, Global Operations Management is your tool for conquering international challenges while seizing global opportunities. By adapting to local cultures, optimizing supply chains, and effectively managing risks, you can navigate the complexities of global markets. So, whether you're overseeing manufacturing plants in multiple countries or managing a global supply chain, remember that thinking globally while acting locally is the compass to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore how technology and innovation impact operational processes. Get ready to dive into the world of operations technology and uncover ways to leverage innovation for operational excellence. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 19, Technology and Innovation in Operations Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the exciting world of technology and innovation in operations. Get ready to explore how advancements in technology can transform your operational processes and drive excellence through innovation. The Impact of Technology on Operations Imagine you're managing a warehouse. Technology has the power to revolutionize operations, from automating tasks to enhancing data analysis and improving overall efficiency. Technological Innovations in Operations Automation and Robotics Robotic systems can perform tasks with precision, 
consistency, and speed, reducing the need for manual labor in various processes. Internet of Things, IoT connected devices collect and share real time data, enabling better monitoring of processes and equipment performance. Big Data and Analytics, analyzing large sets of data can uncover trends, optimize processes, and provide insights for informed decision making. Artificial Intelligence, AI AI can predict demand, optimize supply chains, and improve customer service through chatbots and virtual assistants. Blockchain, blockchain technology enhances transparency and traceability in supply chains, reducing fraud and improving accountability. Real-world example, Amazon's fulfillment technology. Amazon's use of technology in operations is legendary. From automated robots in warehouses to predictive algorithms that optimize delivery routes, technology plays a pivotal role in their success. Challenges in technology and innovation, adoption and adaptation. Adopting new technologies requires investment, training, and adaptation to changing processes. Additionally, ensuring data security and privacy is crucial when using advanced technology. Your takeaway, embrace the digital transformation. Operations managers, technology and innovation are your tools for embracing the digital transformation and achieving operational excellence. By leveraging cutting-edge technologies, automating processes, and harnessing data insights, you can optimize your operations and stay competitive in the ever-evolving business landscape. So, whether you're managing a production facility or a service-oriented operation, remember that technology is your partner in driving operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore strategies for identifying and mitigating operational risks. Get ready to dive into the world of risk management in operations and uncover ways to safeguard your operational processes. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 20, Risk Management in Operations Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the crucial topic of risk management in operations. Get ready to explore strategies for identifying, assessing, and mitigating operational risks to ensure the smooth and successful execution of your projects and processes. Understanding Operational Risks Imagine you're overseeing a construction project. Operational risks are potential events or situations that could disrupt your operations, impact project timelines, or lead to financial losses. Steps in Risk Management, from Identification to Mitigation Risk Identification, identify potential risks by analyzing past experiences, involving stakeholders, and considering various scenarios. Risk assessment, evaluate the likelihood and potential impact of each identified risk. This helps prioritize which risks require immediate attention. Risk response planning, develop strategies to manage or mitigate the identified risks. This could involve avoiding, transferring, reducing, or accepting the risk. Risk monitoring and control. Continuously monitor the project or operation to identify new risks and assess the effectiveness of risk responses. Common types of operational risks. Financial risks, these include fluctuations in currency exchange rates, unexpected cost overruns, and budget constraints. Operational risks, process failures, equipment breakdowns, and supply chain disruptions fall under this category. Market risks, these involve shifts in customer preferences, changes in demand, and competitive pressures. Regulatory and compliance risks, non-compliance with regulations or changes in legal requirements can lead to serious consequences. Real-world example, oil spill response plan. In the oil and gas industry, companies have comprehensive risk management plans to respond to oil spills. These plans include strategies for containment, cleanup, and communication with stakeholders. Challenges in risk management, uncertainty, and proactive planning. Operational risks are inherently uncertain, making it challenging to predict all potential scenarios. Proactive planning and flexibility are essential to address unexpected events effectively. 
Your takeaway, be prepared and proactive. Operations managers, risk management is your tool for being prepared and proactive in the face of uncertainty. By identifying potential risks, assessing their impact, and developing strategies to mitigate them, you can safeguard your operations and projects. So, whether you're managing a construction project or a service-oriented operation, remember that risk management is your shield against potential disruptions. In our next episode, we'll explore strategies to optimize supply chain processes and minimize bottlenecks. Get ready to dive into the world of supply chain optimization and uncover ways to enhance your operational efficiency. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 21, Supply Chain Optimization Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the intricate world of supply chain optimization. Get ready to explore strategies for fine-tuning your supply chain processes to enhance efficiency, reduce costs, and deliver exceptional value to your customers. Understanding Supply Chain Optimization Imagine you're managing a retail company. Supply chain optimization involves maximizing the efficiency of every step in the process, from sourcing raw materials to delivering the final product, to achieve the best possible results. Key Strategies for Supply Chain Optimization Demand forecasting, accurate forecasting helps you align production and inventory levels with actual customer demand, reducing excess inventory or stockouts. Inventory management, efficiently managing inventory levels minimizes carrying costs while ensuring products are readily available. Supplier collaboration, collaborating closely with suppliers can lead to better demand visibility, reduced lead times, and improved overall efficiency. Logistics and distribution, optimizing transportation routes, warehouse operations, and distribution networks can significantly reduce costs and delivery times. Lean supply chain, minimizing waste and maximizing value. Lean principles, borrowed from lean manufacturing, can be applied to supply chain management to reduce waste, improve flow, and enhance value to customers. Real-world example, Zara's Agile Supply Chain Fashion retailer Zara is known for its Agile Supply Chain. They can design, produce, and deliver new clothing lines to stores in a matter of weeks, allowing them to quickly respond to changing fashion trends. Challenges in Supply Chain Optimization, Balancing Cost and Service Balancing the costs of inventory, transportation, and production with the need to provide excellent customer service can be a challenge. Over-optimization might lead to service disruptions, while under-optimization can result in increased costs. Your takeaway, optimize for excellence. Operations managers, supply chain optimization is your tool for achieving operational excellence from end to end. By fine-tuning processes, collaborating with suppliers, and embracing lean principles, you can streamline your supply chain and deliver exceptional value to your customers. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing company or a service-oriented operation, remember that supply chain optimization is the key to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the use of data analytics in improving operational decision-making. Get ready to dive into the world of operations analytics and uncover ways to harness the power of data for informed choices. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 22, Operations Analytics Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the fascinating realm of operations analytics. Get ready to explore how data analytics can enhance your operational decision-making and drive continuous improvement in your processes. The Power of Operations Analytics Imagine you're managing a retail chain. Operations analytics involves using data and analytical tools to gain insights into your operational processes, identify trends, and make informed decisions. Types of Operations Analytics Descriptive Analytics These help you understand what happened in the past. Examples include analyzing historical sales data to identify trends and patterns. 
Predictive analytics, these focus on forecasting future outcomes. You might use predictive analytics to estimate demand for a product in the upcoming quarter. Prescriptive analytics, these suggest actions to optimize outcomes. For instance, prescriptive analytics might recommend the best pricing strategy to maximize profits. Data sources for operations analytics. Internal data, data generated from your own operations, such as sales records, inventory levels, and customer feedback. External data, information from external sources, like market trends, economic indicators, and competitor performance. Real-time data, real-time data from sensors and connected devices can provide insights into ongoing processes. Benefits of operations analytics, informed decision-making and continuous improvement. Informed decision-making, analytics provide a data-driven foundation for making operational decisions that align with your strategic goals. Continuous improvement, identifying areas for improvement through analytics allows you to fine-tune your processes and enhance efficiency. Real-world example, Walmart's inventory optimization. Walmart uses operations analytics to optimize its inventory levels. By analyzing sales data, trends, and external factors, they can adjust inventory levels to avoid overstocking or stockouts. Challenges in operations analytics, data quality and interpretation. Ensuring data accuracy and interpreting complex data sets can be challenging. Additionally, making the right decisions based on analytics requires a deep understanding of your operational context. Your takeaway, empower your operations with data insights. Operations managers, operations analytics is your tool for harnessing the power of data to empower your operations. By analyzing trends, forecasting outcomes, and making informed decisions, you can drive continuous improvement and achieve operational excellence. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that data analytics is your compass to navigating the path to success. In our next episode, we'll explore how to implement Lean Six Sigma principles in real-world operations. Get ready to dive into the world of Lean Six Sigma and uncover ways to streamline your processes and reduce waste. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 23, Lean Six Sigma Implementation Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're diving into the world of Lean Six Sigma. Get ready to explore how to implement Lean Six Sigma principles in real-world operations aiming to streamline processes, reduce waste, and achieve operational excellence. Understanding Lean Six Sigma, a powerful combination. Imagine you're managing a healthcare facility. Lean Six Sigma combines two methodologies, Lean, which focuses on minimizing waste, and Six Sigma, which aims to reduce variability in defects, to create a robust framework for process improvement. Key Principles of Lean Six Sigma Identify value, determine what adds value to the customer and focus on those aspects while eliminating activities that don't contribute. Map the process Create process maps to understand the flow of activities, identify bottlenecks, and uncover opportunities for improvement. Reduce waste, eliminate any steps, materials, or resources that don't directly contribute to the end product or service. Improve quality, use Six Sigma methodologies to identify and eliminate defects aiming for high-quality outputs. Measure and analyze, collect data, measure performance, and use statistical analysis to identify root causes of problems. Standardize and control, implement standardized processes and control mechanisms to sustain improvements over time. Benefits of Lean Six Sigma, Enhanced Efficiency and Quality Improved Efficiency by eliminating waste and optimizing processes, you can achieve faster cycle times and reduced lead times. Enhanced quality, rigorous defect reduction and quality control measures result in higher quality products and services. Real-world example, General Electric's success with Lean Six Sigma. 
General Electric, G, is renowned for its successful implementation of Lean Six Sigma. The company has achieved significant cost savings, improved customer satisfaction, and enhanced operational efficiency. Challenges in Lean Six Sigma implementation, cultural change and continuous improvement. Implementing Lean Six Sigma requires a cultural shift towards embracing change and continuously seeking improvement. Additionally, maintaining momentum for continuous improvement can be challenging over the long term. Your takeaway, strive for perfection through continual improvement. Operations Managers, Lean Six Sigma is your tool for achieving operational excellence through continual improvement. By identifying waste, optimizing processes, and enhancing quality, you can streamline your operations and provide exceptional value to your customers. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that Lean Six Sigma is your pathway to operational success. In our next episode, we'll explore the formulation of operation strategies that align with overall business goals. Get ready to dive into the world of operations strategy formulation and uncover ways to create a roadmap for your operational success. Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 24, Operations Strategy Formulation Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this episode, we're delving into the critical realm of operations strategy formulation. Get ready to explore how to develop comprehensive strategies that align your operational activities with your overall business goals, ensuring a roadmap for success. Understanding Operations Strategy, The Backbone of Success Imagine you're managing a technology company. Operations Strategy is the blueprint that guides your operational decisions, processes, and resource allocation to achieve your business's broader objectives. Key Elements of Operations Strategy Alignment with business goals, your operation strategy must align with your company's overall mission, vision, and strategic objectives. Competitive Advantage Determine how your operations can create a competitive edge, whether it's through cost leadership, innovation, quality, or speed. Resource Allocation Allocate resources effectively to support your chosen operational focus and competitive advantage. Risk management, identify potential risks that could impact your operations and develop strategies to mitigate them. Flexibility and adaptation, design your strategy to be flexible and adaptable to changes in the business environment. Operation strategy models, different approaches to success. Porter's five forces, analyze competitive forces in your industry to identify opportunities and threats that can shape your operation strategy. Mintzberg's 5 PS, this model considers five dimensions of operations strategy, plan, ploy, pattern, position, and perspective. Hill's generic strategies, choose from cost leadership, differentiation, and focus strategies to guide your operations direction. Real-world example, Apple's innovative operations strategy. Apple's operations strategy is rooted in innovation. They maintain a tight control over their supply chain, allowing them to introduce new products quickly and maintain high-quality standards. Challenges in Operations Strategy Formulation, Balancing Priorities and Implementation Striking a balance between various operational priorities while ensuring successful implementation of the strategy can be challenging. Adaptation and flexibility are essential. Your Takeaway Chart your course for success. Operations Managers, Operation Strategy Formulation is your tool for charting a course toward operational success. By aligning your operations with your overall business goals, identifying competitive advantages, and managing risks, you can navigate the complexities of the business landscape. So, whether you're overseeing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that a well-crafted operations strategy is your compass to achieving excellence. In our final episode, we'll explore the importance of continuous improvement and reflection in operations management. Get ready to dive into the world of continuous improvement and uncover ways to foster a culture of excellence in your operations. 
Stay tuned for more captivating insights into the dynamic field of operations management. Episode 25, Continuous Improvement and Reflection Welcome back to the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. In this final episode, we're delving into the vital topic of continuous improvement and reflection. Get ready to explore how fostering a culture of learning and enhancement in your operations can lead to long-term success. The importance of continuous improvement, a journey, not a destination. Imagine you're overseeing a manufacturing facility. Continuous improvement involves consistently seeking ways to enhance your processes, products, and services to deliver better value to your customers. Key Principles of Continuous Improvement Kaizen Philosophy Embrace the Kaizen philosophy of small, incremental improvements that accumulate over time to create significant change. PDCA Cycle The PDCA Plan Do Check Act Cycle is a framework for iterative improvement. Plan your improvement, implement it, check the results, and act to make necessary adjustments. Fostering a culture of continuous improvement, encourage learning and adaptation. Open communication, encourage employees to share ideas, suggestions, and concerns related to process improvement. Training and development, invest in employee training to equip them with the skills needed to drive improvements. Feedback and reflection, regularly review processes, assess outcomes, and identify areas for enhancement. The role of reflection, learning from experience. Reflection involves looking back on past experiences, analyzing what worked and what didn't, and using those insights to inform future decisions. Real-world example, Toyota's Kaizen culture. Toyota is renowned for its commitment to continuous improvement. Their employees at all levels actively engage in identifying opportunities for enhancement, leading to a culture of ongoing innovation. Challenges in continuous improvement and reflection, overcoming resistance and complacency. Overcoming resistance to change and the temptation to become complacent after initial successes can be challenging. Leaders must consistently reinforce the importance of improvement. Your takeaway, strive for excellence every day. Operations managers, continuous improvement and reflection are your tools for fostering excellence in your operations. By embracing a culture of learning, encouraging feedback, and consistently seeking ways to enhance your processes, you can create a pathway to long-term success. So, whether you're managing a manufacturing process or a service-oriented operation, remember that excellence is a journey that requires dedication and a commitment to continuous growth. And with that, we conclude the MBA Business School's Operations Management Program. We hope these insights have equipped you with the knowledge and inspiration to excel in the dynamic world of operations management. Remember, the principles and strategies you've learned can guide you towards operational success in any business context. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey.